Back in the beginning of March, we met Robin Thompson of Milford. She was competing for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society Woman of the Year in Delaware, which is a fundraising campaign for blood cancer research. Her efforts are motivated by the death of her husband, and then just last year, Robin's best friend's son, TJ, was also diagnosed with a type of blood cancer. Now, Robin is back with us today. How you doing, Robin? Good, how about you? Good, good. So the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society Woman of the Year competition is still going on. How's it going? <laughs> oh, it's been a little bit challenging with the pandemic that's going on. Um, we were only two weeks into the campaign when everything got shut down. So all of our events had to be canceled. We were hoping to be able to maybe pick up and do them again later, but it's not looking like that. Mm. So we are currently turning our efforts trying to virtual events, trying to get a couple virtual events going to try to meet our goal and or at least get closer to it. Yeah, and one of those is a Zoom concert, right? One of them is a Zoom concert that is featuring a local musician, Bobby Lee Jones. That's going to be tomorrow night, May 30th at 6 p.m. from 6 to 7 p.m. That is out on our NOFA for TJ Facebook page with all the information of how to register. Um, you make a $15 donation and then register for the Zoom meeting and then you'll be sent the link to join in with us for a good hour or so of good music. Yeah, and you have that Facebook page set up for TJ. Can you tell us about TJ? TJ um, is currently 20 years old. Uh, he is the son of my best friend, Lisa Haas. He was 19 when he was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia a year ago this past April. Mm -hmm. You know, it's changed his world drastically, but currently in remission which is awesome 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 trying to get back into a routine of what his new normal is um but overall he's doing well and how are how are his spirits um i haven't seen him lately uh i saw him a couple months ago just in passing and he seems to be doing good you know of course i talk to his mom every day and mm -hmm. she says he's doing well you know it's tough for everybody right now but he's getting out and you know doing odd and end things yeah. social distancing as far as like working around the farm and different things so he's able to get out and do some stuff and i'm sure that the work that you're doing means so much we are trying and i think it does you know i mean i don't know if I mean, I know he appreciates it. You know, I don't know that each patient can actually truly realize what is going on without seeing the overall mm. um, effects of it. Mm -hmm. um, personally, you know, I can because I dealt with this 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. Then I look at TJ and the crazy differences mm. in the treatments, the effects of the treatments, the resources available to him this past year that were not there 20 some years ago. You know, and when I mean resources, it's it's everything. It's mental health aspects and resources for that. Yeah. There's even, you know, help for him with just living expenses, different things. I, there's so much available to them now that was not available to us 20 years ago. So I can easily sit here and say that I know with everything in me that the money does work. It helps, it gets used for an awesome purpose. And tell me about this virtual 5K. <laughs> this virtual 5K, is just um you can go online to register at run sign up dot com forward slash tj uh nofa for tj all that information is out on our facebook page as well you register it's 25 dollars to register that entire registration fee goes to leukemia lymphoma society 
You can run or walk that race anytime between June 13th and June 20th. You just need some type of fitness tracker that will show your distance and your time. Once you've completed that, you know, you can send, send us the um, results of that, a picture of your fitness app. It can be uploaded to our, posted on our Facebook page. And also we're giving um, prizes for first and second place for man, male and female. I'm hoping to give people a reason to just get out that have really just been, we've all been stuck in for so long, yeah. you know, and they can do it as an individual. They can't sign up as a group because it's virtual, but they can gather family or whatever and go out and walk it or run it together yeah. practicing the social distancing or they can just challenge a family member and friends you know they can make their own little competition out of it so it's whatever they choose to do with it they can make it a lot of fun um and they can be creative sure robin thompson thank you so much for what you're doing and give tj our best would you i will and um i just did want to say you know that i want to give a great Thank you, shout out to my team members because I could not do it with them. My husband, you know, he's a master of Temple Lodge number nine in Milford. So it's been busy for him this year, but we have a lot of Masonic support through the Delaware Freemasonry, which has been awesome. And I don't know that we would be where we are without them. And my team members have just been amazing. They have been there and they have busted their behinds to get things done during all this difficult time. Absolutely. Can't do it alone. Robin no, Thompson. No, cannot do it alone. No one fights alone. That's right. Thank That's you so much. <laughs> Thank you.